there is panic around Nigeria. Uh, when people are like, uh, oh, uh, what uh, is happening in Kano State should not happen in Edo State because what is happening in Edo State recently is really, um, is really disturbing. Let me put it that way. Even me too, I'm kind of a surprise that uh, how, why should the Obaseki and uh, Oba be having a, this uh, back and forth uh, misunderstanding because that is the way I see it. And it's like uh, Obaseki is not uh, backing down. And, uh, you know, from my own point of view, I don't think uh, Oba Obele is that kind of person that, uh, uh, in in, uh, how will I put it, intrude, is that, was, is that the word, or interfere in politics. <laughs> he doesn't interfere. You know, from the little I have known about him recently, he does not interfere. Whatever you people say, fine. And it goes by the popular demand and what people really want as far as, a, you know, any candidate of any political party is concerned. Everybody goes there, even the, the presidents, the governors of other states, if they go to a do state, they go, they pay him with this. And he's one of the most respected uh, monarchs over in Nigeria. Take it or you leave it. So I'm kind of surprised. And when you look at Obaseki himself, he's not that kind of a drag rap person and i said it that you know what um, even with shomole that uh, used to be very very outspoken and all of that mm -mm, never had a any known you know it could be like oh people are saying that or some things when oba say when uh, shomole was uh, the governor but anything that uh, you know that that would make the two of them be both the governor who happened to be a shomole at that time and the other being to have a uh, some kind of a or physical or known a crisis, you know, it's never happened. Even as I've spoken as a Oba um, Oshomole uh, was and he still is. So I'm surprised with a uh, Obaseki that appears to be very gentle. So why this uh, back and forth? And now some people are afraid that uh, I hope uh, he will not do the same thing that uh, Gandhi did to Sanusi and which is still lingering till today that Oba might be dethroned by Obaseki because some people have the opinion that uh, with the way the politics or democracy is being is being uh, run in Nigeria the governor has a uh, more power more powerful more more power than the re traditional rulers whether Oba or of any sort whether you are a first class king or second class that the governor still has uh, the the power the edge over any traditional institution and for the fact that it is the federal government or the state government that pays the governors, uh, the federal government is the governors that pay the the monarchs. You know, it's another thing that people just believe that uh, they are so powerful. That what happened, what it happened for ha far house, make it no happen for good house. So, so that's why some people are kind of skeptical because this uh, confrontation is just uh, too much. And I've been asking myself, Obaseki just has a just very very few months few months to leave the office so why evolving himself in this kind of a thing the recent event that happened um is the banning of a uh, some sort of group that uh, was established by the the palace or the oba of benin which obaseki is complaining that say uh, they are they are accusing them of a uh, being part of the uh, court system the states that have taken the lives of a uh, many youth so he's banning the activities which the palace is not even agreeing to. So I'm sure they are going to have a a common ground to settle this because first it was a what is it called the artifact. Another one came up with that the they were not respected. The other the other palace was not respected by the governor's uh, office and the and through his a uh, successor that uh, we have been. That he wants to make it successful because it's not a success already so now this is the ban of a group of people again which uh, the the palace a uh, face uh, slighted and insulted and as things are going this way that's why some people have the mindset or worried that this could happen or not <laughs> but some people say he, he dare not he cannot try it and somebody was saying that uh, Oba Obini is not a uh, like a uh, Yoruba and Aousa that can be detained. The governor that he tries is not even yet born. 
Uh, okay, people should go and read history. Mm. They should go and re- read history that is not going to happen. Oba Seki should allow the Oba and traditional suit to do their things their own way. Okay, and himself should face policies and governance. And I think uh, they work, they work uh, hand in hand because anytime there is policies, you see that uh, or election is coming up. They will always go and meet Oba. Like they always say, Oba no, they go transfer. Mm. Uh, one governor will come, another one will go, another one will come. Uh, like a uh, soldier go, soldier come. Uh huh. Barrack remains. So that is the position of policy kingship. Before democracy, before we we should change, it used to be traditional rulers who are so powerful, but the narratives have changed, and that's why you see that a. Uh, but most uh, bars, most, most most governors, they don't really um lord it over the gov over the over the traditional rulers. But maybe, of course, most of the traditional rulers are always at the mercy of all these governors, so they have to abide. So anything they say, okay, okay, everybody, but they know within themselves that the governor has a is more powerful. Just like even a person that is not even the president is not even holding any position now. Okay, maybe as a past president, we know the incident that happened last year when he was telling them all the traditional rulers, hey, did they, hey, Joko, upstand, seize the hey, hand, just like they used to do in primary school, upstand. I don't know whether that English is correct. Upstand, everybody sit down, okay, you know, calling jobs for them. So that was what Obasanjo did to the monarchs, and everybody was complaining. Ah, Obasanjo is rude. Oh, Obasanjo is this. Obasanjo is that. But they, they, they obeyed him. Maybe it took them on their way, but there was nothing they could have done. A, a, a lot of people really blame Obasanjo for doing that. So that is to tell you that, uh, yeah, the monarchs, they are under the government. But people are saying, hmm, then somebody, as like somebody said, hey, they never born the, they never born the governor. We go, we, did, we go say he won't impeach it. That we want the truth. Oba of Benin. The feed drama of other places above for Benin. Eh? Perish that thoughts. So guys, uh, do you think it's possible? Let us know in the comment section. Thank you.